I was on recording the other day. Whenever I put my hand up, it automatically records. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey. It's Roy and Riri. Welcome back, or welcome if oh, you are new. I have a toothpick in. That's fine. Look, it's shit, shit. Look, they are. They already know. <laughs> Anyways, I asked you guys on my community tab and on my Facebook for some questions for a Q and A slash twenty questions for my brother and I before he goes out of town he's visiting from ohio i'm so grateful and thankful and we've had a effing blast had a wonderful time while i was down here so we are going to do our 20 questions and then there's a couple of like super easy like rapid fire questions so yeah number one what was your favorite game growing up oh good lord uh i like playing army in the woods because i always <laughs> Is that what they call it <laughs> um, we're gonna say I was playing Army in the Woods, but <laughs> let's just say there's uh, <laughs> no, it really was Army in the Woods. I liked Operation, even though it always scared me. The best part was always yelling, Bang, I got you, and then everybody argued for 30 minutes about who got who. Yeah, goals. <laughs> it really strengthened my debate skills. <laughs> Number two, favorite memory together. Ooh. This is like impromptu, so we didn't prepare for. But yeah, no, no, I just wrote them down. I didn't like pay attention or anything. I wrote them down as quickly as I saw them, and that's that. He has no idea what the. Yeah, I have are. no idea what these questions are. All right, <laughs> so favorite memory together. Oh, I good lord. Uh, oh yeah, because you're yeah, it's a bang. Um, good lord, favorite memory together. Like I always like to go into the bowling alley and then, and yeah. then like we we we'd shake these candy machines and steal the candy out of them. Or like, the crane machines. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, and then the crane machines where they didn't have the little uh, security thing. You could reach up in there and grab <laughs> stuff out of there. So so bowling, definitely. But, man. I always loved Easter's for all of us. But yeah. the very first year that you and the kids came down in like 2018-ish, 19-ish. Yeah. I loved that so much. Just like to yes, see them and see definitely. the part of you and, you know, after all the years and stuff like that. So. Yep. Yeah. But I guess and basically, now. It's, basically it's like family time. Anytime we get a chance to yeah. to to... Folks, you know. We're both very much very family oriented people yep. that we family's everything in the world to us. Yep. We also like to go to the gun range too. So yes. That's cool. That's always fun. All right. Number three, our age difference. I just turned forty three. And I will be forty five. So a year and a, a nine year, months. A year months and some change. Ish, something yep. like that. Yeah. Um, I wish we went to high school together because then she could have brought all her friends home to me. And he could have beat everybody's ass, weren't he? I could have. Actually, in high school, I was I was just a little guy in high school. <laughs> yeah, um, just a back, quick, quick, quick backstory, because we don't want y'all here for 3,000 years, but y'all know what I say. Grab your tacos and a tequila, your milk and cookies, Doritos, Cheetos, Fritos, whatever's your pleasure. Mm -hmm. Sit back and relax and enjoy the show. But our parents got divorced when I was 12, 13-ish, and they left and moved to Ohio when I was 15, mm -hmm. and then we kind of rekindled, remet, reconnected when I was like 22-ish. Something like something that, like yeah. That. So yeah. we didn't go to high school together or just in case somebody's like what the fuck are they talking yeah. about and then i disappeared for <laughs> like 13 14 years in the marine corps and yeah. uh and then when i got back home to ohio and retired we kind of just we not really a visitation schedule but i spend a, as much time down here as yeah. possible and i love it and i love it i love it all right number four your favorite tattoo oh my favorite tattoo of yours or my favorite tattoo of, of yourself mine? I, I guess they didn't specify. Sorry if we answer it wrong, okay. y'all. So, so I actually have a couple. So I have my kids' names tattooed on me, and I have like their birth signs of the zodiac also tattooed on me. So I guess it would be my kids' names and their zodiac signs. Oh, I love that. Same here. Although I love my butterfly, and most people love my butterfly. But Caleb's name, I have like an anklet on my ankle with his name on it. And then my best friend passed from lung cancer, so I got living on a prayer with a feather. So that's my favorite tattoos. Man, that's hard. I have like 13. Yeah. I only have 32. <laughs> <laughs> we just need, we need more. We need more. <laughs> Tattoo crack. Um, if you could give Riri's beauty family any piece of advice, what would it be? Um, I said this, I saw I do like a little Snapchat type uh, advice to people that- Oh, give your stuff. Give your info. On, Sna on Snapchat. I'll follow you. Um, but um, it's something that kind of came up over the last couple of days. It's, it's, um, it's don't just exist but live um so a lot of people fight really hard just to exist whether it's through a job or whether it's through a relationship or or whatever but then they fail to realize that they're not really living so i would say i would say live to live don't live to exist if yeah. that makes sense Amen. so enjoy it Amen. enjoy the journey 
I agree. And he's very much like me. You guys know I preach this all the time. When I tell you guys I'm so grateful for your time. Thank you for being here. I preach this all the time to y'all. Time is the most valuable thing in the entire world. We are on borrowed time. He has that same philosophy. So yep. pay attention to that. And that's something we both kind of learned a little bit later in life yep. to give yourself grace love yourself and appreciate yourself and value yourself the way that you do others give to yourself the way you give to others yep time is your most valuable asset yep. it's the one thing that costs nothing but has an infinite return on the investment yep. when you invest your time in somebody it means that you value them and then they value you back because you you can never get time back no one can repay you your time exactly. back it's a it's a resource that once used is absolutely gone so it has to be by definition the most valuable resource you have yep amen all right number six good ones guys if you could live anywhere in the world where would it be in the woods of amazonia okay because then i would be the only dude there surrounded by amazons <laughs> is that, that real, like that is, is that a real place I think it's a real place. Look, so. at, look, I didn't do very well in geography. Math, I was great at. Spelling, geography, no. <laughs> um, I, of course, you guys know this already, my, I would love to go to Ireland. I've wanted to visit since I was a little girl and did a report when I was in sixth grade and I've loved the country ever since. So if I could go anywhere in the world, it would definitely be Ireland. Yeah. My real it's answer beautiful. to a real place would be uh, probably Japan. So I lived in Japan for quite a long time i love the people i love the food i love the language um yeah so it would definitely the real place would be japan i'm pretty sure amazonia is not real <laughs> and if i couldn't go to ireland we want to go to the mountains and live in Boone. oh absolutely absolutely <laughs> all right number seven. Oh, good one what's your biggest fear okay um spiders and clowns can go bow f themselves <laughs> so yeah spiders and clowns and now if it's a it's a and now if it's like it which is kind of like a mix of a spider and a clown. Nope. Not doing it. I kind of, any type of bug, y'all know that's why I hate summer. Any type of bug, spider, um, but then like speaking to the other spectrum of that, um, something happening to my son and my mama or my family. Oh, I'm not afraid of that because then I would just, I'd go to jail in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh yeah, I would too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is your favorite memory? Like together? Well, I think, oh, well, we kind of answered yeah, that already. Favorite together. memory together. Okay. Favorite memory overall, I guess. I would say the birth of my daughter because obviously my daughter's my oldest. She was my firstborn. I was stationed in Korea at the time. So I, my, I heard her first sound when she was born through a phone connected to another phone, connected to a walkie talkie, connected to a walkie talkie wow. in the birthing in the birthing room. So I heard her first kind of scream like fifth hand seven thousand miles away. Aww. So that was a that's a that's my favorite. That's memory. great. That's great. Um I kinda have to say the pretty much the same thing, just the birth of my son. Like I knew we had a very hard childhood. We've been through a lot of stuff, and I was told that I could not have kids because of my kidneys and stuff like that. So when I had my son, it was everything in the world to me. So that's my favorite memory. You can't have kidneys without kids. <laughs> uh, um, how old are you? What age would you go back to? I'm 43, and um, everything I've done in life has led to who I am today, so I don't think I would go back to anything um, excuse me maybe I'd go back to 42 and redo this last year um, but other than that I wouldn't change a thing in my uh, thing yeah same 44 about to be 45 and there are specific things that I would change kind of along the way but to go back to a specific year I don't I don't think that I would do that I think things happen I know it's stupid and it's you know everybody says it but I think that things happen and fall in line as they should and I know a lot more now than I've ever known in my life I'm a lot smarter and I've kind of come into my own so to speak at, at this age <laughs> I just discovered puberty y'all <laughs> anyways what do you want for Christmas number 10 um yeah you can say what you want to say um, honestly, I have everything that I want, um, except for titties and beer. Titties and beer it is, then. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I really, I really have everything I want. Maybe, um, I don't know, trade my car in on, and get a, and, and get a motorcycle, but, um, cause I'd really like a new motorcycle. 
Fuck yeah. Um, but no, I, I think I have everything. Now, Santa possibly has possibly has a six uh, a really really nice 6.5 creedmoor out there hit her brother up <laughs> or maybe a lapua like a 308 lapua yeah all right i'll take that that sounds good <laughs> um honestly i know this is a really dumb y'all but i want a new vacuum cleaner because mine's old as hell and caleb ran over something when we first got it so when you run the vacuum cleaner it smells horrible it works i'll take it i'm blessed but i'll take a new vacuum cleaner <laughs> Always, always told never to give a woman a cleaning a cleaning appliance for for, for a present. <laughs> Look, but I hey, may I'm do practical, that this honey. Year. I may do I that this year. I'm practical penny, okay, bitch. I may do that this year, girl. You um, getting you getting a vacuum today? If you could, if you could bring three things with you only oh. on a deserted island, what would they be? Oh gosh, um, it would be my M4. It would be. My Edgar Allan Poe compendium. Edgar Allan Poe is a G. Um, and my body pillow. I love my body pillow. Yep. Okay, those are good. Sunscreen. <laughs> I'm sorry, look. You don't look as good at almost 45 if you don't use sunscreen. You know what I'm saying? Um, for real sunscreen, because being burnt. Well, no, because you would build up a tolerance to it. You'd build up a tolerance. Build up a tolerance. Exactly, to exactly. You, you, some form of music, some form of fire starter, and water. Okay. I guess. Okay. <laughs> uh, what would you change about yourself if you could? Oh, um, I would get a new hairline because I see a bunch. Okay. <laughs> 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 I said that mid drink, and she lost. Oh my it. gosh. Um. <laughs> No, I see all these dudes that are my age with these luscious locks of beautiful hair. And I've been bald since I was like, look, this is years worth of growth. And I've, I've had this hairline since I was like 19. So, yeah. You, you can have half of my hair. Yeah. I want, yeah. Uh, if you could change anything about yourself. Um, physically speaking, my teeth. I don't like them. Um, and otherwise, I feel like I'm a little bit too giving sometimes at like the cost of my own self. So th that would be what I would change. Yeah, I'm going to stick with hairline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Pet peeves is um, someone that uses a lot of I, me terms um, instead of us, we, things like that. Um, and then another pet peeve is, um, I would say people that filter themselves too much because it sounds really, really fake and I can pick up on that. Mm -hmm. So, um, when someone's just filtering themselves because of whether it's political correctness or whether it's, um, because they, they, they're, they're, they're just being super fake. I can feel it, and it just it's obviously yeah. not genuine. So that's a super pet peeve of mine. Yeah. I kind of feel that way too, but um, lack of respect and lack of communication. You can have differences of opinions, differences of views. Different does not mean wrong, and I think sometimes we misconstrue that conception of, hey, you can be different, and it doesn't mean you're wrong. You're right, and I'm right. Um, and then the level of respect that kind of comes along with that. If you don't have respect, I got nothing for you. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. What was, oh, number 14. What was the last movie you went to? What did you think of it? Ooh, the last movie I saw in movie theaters. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, The last movie theater, movie. you guys are going to think I'm really, really old. It's because I kind of am. We're not old. Movie theater movie. Good Richard. lord. I didn't know that was... I would say the, 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 the last good movie I saw in the movie theater was Saving Private Ryan in 1998. Was the last real movie I saw in a movie theater. Um, and I thought it was fantastic. Um, now I can't really watch war movies or anything like that. But, Understandably, yeah. But that was a fantastic movie. Excuse me, y'all. Um, the last movie that we saw was when Caleb came in the last time. We went to go see the brand new Expendables. We love that movie. We love the series. Even if it was trash, I would stay said, I'll still say that I loved it, and I was with my guys. So, Expendables, the latest one. I loved it. It's only because she got to see Stallone's boobies. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look, that's a bad motherfucker to be damn 76, 70 yeah, dude's something. Like, he's, yeah, dude's like 80 and he's jacked. Look, I'm 44, y'all, and it's going to take me about three and a half hours to get up off this floor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Who was the oldest? I don't know why I wrote down. I just kind of wrote everything, y'all. Sorry. Me. <laughs> uh, number 16. What would be your number one place you would love to travel to? So not necessarily live. Okay. Um. So I'd really like to do some ice diving in Alaska. Because I've, like, I've done the whole, you know, Caribbean and and South Pacific scuba diving and all that stuff. I'm, so I'm, I'm an avid diver. I love to dive. But I would love to do some ice diving in Alaska. That's so cool. That would be awesome. I would also like to visit Alaska, but mine goes back to I would love to just travel like Scotland and Ireland and all those places. And there's just something about it. It's so lush and so beautiful. And the temperature stays the same like nine months out of the year. Like sign me up, please. As long as it's not hot. And it grow lots of potatoes. <laughs> Which is kind of, well, yeah, I like French fries. They're my favorite meal. <laughs> Uh, um what would you sing for karaoke night see we do karaoke all the time right <laughs> so i would sing either some stevie earl copperhead road god's country by um blake shelton or the dance garth brooks but i could also get down on like I could also get down with some, you know, old school. You guys are going to think I'm crazy for this, but like some old school stupid vanilla ice. Oh, yeah. Or um, or I could I could also do, um, um, good Lord, there's so many good songs that we do. Simple Man. Um, Anything by Journey. 45. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Shine Down, Simple Man, 45, the acoustic versions, things like that. Things like that. Anything Pink. Anything Harry Clarkson, and then I got a girl crush. I can't remember who sings that. It's a country band. I'll sing it. I got a girl, girl crush. crush. Hate yeah. to admit it, but I got a hot rush. Make sure that's not 30 seconds. Don't yeah, monetize yeah, yeah, me, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, those are what we would sing, but we'll, like literally, if it's playing, we'll sing it. <laughs> Um, number 18, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Don't even. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, um, probably some baked, some baked, like a three meat, three cheese ziti. Um... But I could also smash some pizza, y'all. I could destroy some mm -hmm. pizza. I love me some pizza. My answer's pizza. I could love me some pizza. Pizza some and good french pizza. fries. Some good yeah. pizza, not garbage pizza. Good pizza. Because pizza, like, you can change it up. Like the Thin stuffed, crust, thick crust, oh. stuffed crust, cheddar crust, pretzel crust. Oh, you had me at pretzel crust. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, I don't know if y'all have Little Caesars where y'all are at. But we get limited time. We get the pretzel crust, but it has nacho cheese sauce instead of pizza sauce. Girl. <clears throat> it's delicious. It is. It's delicious. And them damn breadsticks that they had too. Cheese sticks. Oh, I know. <laughs> Dip it in buffalo sauce, buffalo ranch. Oh, mm. my God. Go ahead. I just had a food gasm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, item of clothing I couldn't live without. Oh, man. I would have to say a hoodie. I have a I have a black hoodie that I absolutely love. Hoodies are like the greatest invention ever, I think. Mine's leggings. <laughs> I would do leggings too because they make me feel sexy. <laughs> but the hoodie definitely makes me feel manly. And if I'm wearing leggings and a hoodie, it's sexy and manly. It's, <laughs> it, it's game over. I'm Can't like, get any better yeah. than that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, I own like 30, 40 ish pairs of leggings. Oh, too many. But uh, look, I'm comfortable, y'all. I'm at home all day long. All right. You're going to do number 20, and then you're going to do rapid fire. <laughs> oh, if I won $50 million lottery, what is the first thing I would buy? Oh, gosh, $50 million lottery. So right away, I'd pay 55% of luxury, so I'd get about $22 million of it. Or I'd get about, yeah, probably about 55 
So I'm 25. Yeah, I probably only get about, I probably only clear about 20 million. Then I'd pay 17% tax on that. So, all right. So I'm looking somewhere around like, uh, what is that? Like 16 million? I don't know. I'm, I'm terrible with math. Uh, I would buy my mama house. I would buy land. And then I would build a compound so all my family members could live in one area. And we could, we could, you know, we could do a farm, do a vegetable garden, just stick with just the family and just have a good time. I would oh. literally do the exact same thing. And then I would donate, donate to Wounded Warrior Project, donate to mental health awareness societies, but reputable places that I know the money actually goes into the hands of those people. Not like yeah. other places. I would, I would, <laughs> I would donate to my sister. Um, and then I would donate to, to my my uh my donate to roy gun fund yeah <laughs> look i'd also have lasik surgery because y'all know my vision is trash um i'll get my teeth fixed and a breast lift if i wanted to do something that was like just frivolous but yeah oh I, yeah i want to buy my family a home and if i want to like be make sure everybody it, yeah if i want to be frivolous I, girl, i'd get my brows done let's see maybe a little bit of filler no i'm just kidding i don't give i don't give a damn about any of that um i might get a boob job though <laughs> <laughs> I'd never leave the house. <laughs> I'd be like total recall of the three I'd be like, <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, rapid fire, y'all. Great questions, by the way. Oh, worst food. Go. Crap mushrooms. You said crap mushrooms. Well, uh, crap too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my worst food would have to be anything I ate two days ago. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> worst food. Good lord, you had to put me on the spot. Oh, liver. I can't do anything. With oh liver. yeah, I don't like liver, liver either. Yeah, Ugh. liver can go go f itself. Um, favorite food? Pizza and French fries. Uh, definitely pizza. Anything potato related, but give me a nice thick old steak any day. I'm easy. Um, favorite color? Yellow. Mine would have to be blue. The Followed pink. by pink. <laughs> oh yeah, I love me some pink. Um, sunset or sunrise? I'm a huge fan of a sunrise. Um, my eyes don't get up early in the morning, honey. Eight o'clock is good enough for me, so sunset. I'm just I like sunrise because it means I made it another day. Um, <laughs> favorite movie? Let's do it on the on the count of three. One, two, three. Seven, never music. ending story. <laughs> I love the never ending story. Uh, me too. It's the never ending story. Sound of music, and I love, love, love freaking Moana. There's something about Moana. If I literally have nothing to watch, I'm depressed, I'm feeling just blue, whatever. I go to Disney Plus, y'all, not sponsored, <laughs> and I watch Moana. <laughs> oh, I also like, uh, I also like, um, I'm a huge Back to the Future guy, but I'm also a huge Robocop guy. Yes. Because there's just something about a cool robot going around shooting bad guys. Especially back then. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Especially yeah. back yeah, then. Yeah, Robocop. Was, and any classics, yeah. like, Oh gosh, everything from Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, um, The King and I. Yeah. Like I love all those types of movies. Yeah. All those movies. So Favorite crazy. movie genre? I, I okay. Call me crazy, but I'm that guy that likes the subtitled Chinese kung fu movies. I could sit there for a week straight and just no, you watch and Dad used to watch those Chinese lot. kung fu movies where you can't understand everything, and like their lips are moving and weird stuff is coming out. Like I will give your brother. Yeah. Yeah, like it's crazy. I love Chinese kung yeah. fu movies. I love anything old school. Anything old school or just like feel good. I like feel good shit. Yeah. Now I don't watch them as much because my eyesight sucks and I need glasses. <laughs> and sometimes and I misplace my glasses Same. all the time. So so there's times where I'm sitting there watching a kung fu movie like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you see me and we have a big ass TV. And I'm like, babe, does that say, what year does that say? What what does that say? <laughs> yeah. And I'll say like some weird shit like relic of something and he's like, That that doesn't say anything about relic of anything and I'm like mm. <laughs> My <laughs> bad. It doesn't say relic. This is reach for your dreams. Okay, well, let's ask you guys a couple of questions. Ask any question you want to ask them. Um, if you could have dinner with one person from history, all the way back to human history, who would it be and why? Love that. And then another question would be if you met us in real life what would you like to do sporting event hanging out swimming shooting river rafting what it like it doesn't matter just what would you do if you met us and, and wanted to hang out with us in real life i love that my thing is 
what do you like to do for self-love and self-care and what do you consider success what is success to you we love you beauties thank you junior for joining me i'll let him sign off for y'all this time and the only thing i can say is we love you beauties and be your best beautiful bye bye Mm. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye, guys.